My name is Philip Mittermeier. I'm a physician and an anaesthetist. I work in Gothenburg in Sweden. My company is named Mittab AB and uh, our product is the anaesthetic stimulator. I'm using the Six printer due to its large build space and its uh, auto calibration function which makes um, 3D printing very reliable. You can uh, start a 3D print one day, let it work overnight and it will be finished in perfect shape the next day. What's more is that I'm using it in my office environment so I obviously appreciate that it's fume free and um, quite silent in operation. During my work I regularly encounter people that have difficulties with the endotracheal intubation procedure. That's why I've invented the anesthetics intubation simulator which is an interactive training and teaching tool for students and doctors. I um, design and animate um, 3D objects in a game engine to drive the um, procedures that the student is supposed to um, learn. I also use uh, 3D printing to make the physical objects which you see here in this picture. Well, the main component that the user will interact with in my simulator is the, the, the head. I have a model of a, an adult head here with me. Um, and so apart from the software, this is what the user will uh, handle. Um, I've used a soft material uh, here, a um, TPE material for the um, jaw. And then I've used the ordinary PLA. Um, plastic for the um, upper part of the head and as you see after a few iterations of design um, this head structure is closed it's easy to assemble and it's also very robust um, inside you do have a, um, a soft tongue which is easily to depress and um, myself and even users obviously feel that, that the, 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 the feeling of this head and um, it's quite realistic. Without a 3D printer I would have been uh, dependent on external 3D printing services or most probably um, making shapes and forms manually like in uh, silicone techniques and uh, silicone molding. By using a 3D printer I um, get fast turnaround times when a customer says I need to change something or I detect a small error or I get a new idea or I want to improve my design I can just um, make the design, print it out, test it the very next day. So I get fast turnaround times and within a week I can uh, make a complete redesign. I can see various applications for 3D printing in medicine, but the um, most obvious areas are um, artificial limbs, dentistry and um, implants, where the doctors and the patients can visualize shapes and, um, and get the perfect fit for the patient so it's impossible to um, visualize how big 3D printing can get in, in medicine in the future.